Once upon a time I was eight years old and I went to the library and I went to the video game section because my library was really cool and it had video games and I was looking for video games and then I saw Pets Cats 2 for the Wii and you know obviously my first thought as a 10 year old was like wow it's spelled with two it's spelled with z's like uh, this must be the coolest game ever and then i turned it around and it was like b b cats adopt cats be a cat mom 60 cats to make your little village and i took the game home and i was like oh my god i'm gonna have a little village i'm gonna have a bunch of cats and i'm gonna take care of all these cats and then i took it home and i plugged the game in and it actually was just this i'm actually gonna start crying like it's been a really tough few years you know and it's like good tough like i'm stuff's happening you know but like i just like I'm gonna actually start crying because of this stupid cat game that I played 10 years ago. The cats look like they're green screened in. You, you see what I mean, right? Why is this intro so long? Like, I get it. I get it. There's places to go and I can be a cat. Like, I, I understand. Oh, I forgot I can catch bugs. It's just like Animal Crossing. All right. Yeah, pets, cats. Um, I'm gonna spoil it for you, but this is not a cute, fun little pet farming simulator with cats. This is an like RPG self-insert adventure cat game, and you just do fetch quests, and that's the whole game. Okay, there's 40 cats to choose from, so just like give me, give me a second to figure out what cat I want to be. I think I was this cat once, and this cat looks most like my real life cat, so I kind of want to be that cat. But I also like I want to be a different cat. You know, I haven't played this in like 10 years, so I, I feel like I need to be a different cat. I was di this cat, because I remember thinking this cat was really pretty, and I had brown hair, so I felt like if I was going to be a cat, I would have been this cat. So I do remember being this cat. Chinchilla. Why does your face look like that? Every single time I like click through, my Wii U makes this noise, and it stresses me out. I don't like it when it does this. See, I'm gonna be looking at this for probably the next five hours and then like another 10 hours in editing, so I need to make a good decision because I'm gonna be looking at this forever. I go with a little brown cat. Oh my god. Oh my god, I could trade accessories with a friend. Transfer data to Wii Remote and bring it to a friend's house to trade items or play mini games. Like, I didn't have any friends that had this game, but I wonder how well this actually worked. Like, I really wonder. All right, well, my cat's on my Wii Remote now, so if anyone wants to hit me up and we can trade those accessories. I hope you guys are ready for this epic, like, Frodo Lord of the Rings adventure we're about to go on. This is literally so scary and I never noticed how scary it was as a child and I am literally terrified. Like they are staring into my soul. All right, this is important. This is what the plot, the lore is kicking in guys, pay attention. Oh, this, this is the magic hat. I've told you about it before, right? This magic hat has been passed down through many generations. It is truly amazing power. Needless to say, terrible things could happen if that power was used by the wrong animal. It has never happened before, but it's possible. When I received this magic hat from your grandfather, I made a vow to use it only for good. I've kept that vow to the best of my ability. But now there are rumors of wrongdoers who want to get their paws on this magic hat. I'll have to be even more careful from now on. Her mom, she just got kind of sitting there, and now, like, I don't... Is she okay? So, Melody, have you heard of how to pronounce dot com? Ivylet. Okay, it's Ivylet. Ivylet is a wolf who does a lot of evil things, but he finally got caught. Look at how I'm blinking at you with my soulless eyes. I'm not gonna actually get to play the game for a while. It's just these cutscenes. Why is the ha why is it so tiny? Oh, there is this building is not fitting inside that tiny little block. Oh my god. All right, there's Ivalet or Ivy Led or whatever his name is. Can I just call him Ivan? If I just call him Ivan, will you guys be upset? I am so happy. Stay away from him, you hear? Most of the time he sleeps during the day anyway. How did she get him in the prison cell? How did, I'm kind of scared of her now. How did she do that? Ivan sleeps during the day. So if we go back at night, we might be able to see if Ivan, we might be able to see Ivan awake and moving. I don't know why he just, he really wants to, he really wants to go see Ivan. Just has like a weird obsession with criminals. 
and you'll see like as we get going like you'll understand what I mean I know let's play cops and robbers because I'm weirdly obsessed with with yeah I'll be the robber because I have a I have a thing and I want to be a criminal melody I want to be a criminal Melody, you be the cop and try to catch me. Um, motion controls, yay. I don't have my wrist strap on. Wait, give me a second, guys. I'm the master robber, Meow and Sin Va Von Balder. I don't know if I said any of those words right, but I don't care anymore. Oh my god, it's me. Oh, I forgot how annoying this feels. I will literally kill you. Oh, this feels really, really bad. Like, I forgot how bad it feels. I hope you guys like that meowing sound because you're going to hear it a lot. Oh, we gotta go, gotta go find stuff. Shake the Wii remote to dig. Oh my god, I got a pair. I don't understand why they didn't just make this like a nunchuck game because this is so awkward. I know that this happens to everyone, but it's just weird because I knew it wasn't gonna look good, but in my child brain, I thought this was the most like open artistic world ever in the world and I loved it and it made me so happy. Oh my god, I got, oh my god, I got, I got the fishing tackle. <laughs> like, this game was sold on the PS2 and the Wii. I know, like, I know they could have made the controls work better, but no, we need to have motion controls. I thought this was gonna be a way worse game. And, like, I know I just started playing it. Even though it lies to you and tells you it's a, like, cat farming simulator game thing, um, this still is, like, way, way better set up than I remember it being. Like, I feel like I am playing, like, an officially licensed licensed game that isn't, like, weird and horrible. I have to go catch a bug. God. I think that Stardew Valley fishing is hard. You have literally no idea. <laughs> losers. Imagine being at the bottom of the food chain, couldn't be me. There's this guy and he's like, he's very studious as you can tell. Actually, it wasn't as hard as I remember. I might have just been an idiot as a child. Like how it's like, do you, I know you just saved five seconds ago, but you have since then fished and caught a bug. So do you want to save again? Okay, I'll come and get you once it's dark. We gotta go break into Ivan's prison um, cell so I can like be friends with him and he can mentor me so I can go like be a f thief and a murderer and kill people because I'm insane. Yeah, no lies. I heard you mention something about Ivan, did I not? Yes, you were talking about him. Don't underestimate the power of these ears of mine. Now listen carefully. Car Ivan is evil and may seem interesting to you. Honestly, he's not really interesting to me. He's just interesting to my weird friend here who has a burglar fetish. And she get away without having to give too many details. We literally just sat there and ran away. Like, did you even give too many details? See you later. Gonna go commit some crimes tonight. Up oh, and now, no, mom. Mom's here. Tell that she's mom and not actually me because you see I do not wear a hat and necklace. I have to pee. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have my Robert Pattinson blanket and we gotta go deliver donuts for mom. Just introducing this to us early that all we're gonna be doing is errands for people. Hi, you're gonna be my favorite person because I want clothes. Take the donut. Oh my god, she gave me three dollars. Why are all of the houses like these little squares? I mean like a lot of these you can't go into, but why are they like little tiny squares? And then in the cutscenes you go in and they're like these huge things. Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. I want to sell something right now. I want to sell you so please. Okay, fine. I guess I won't sell things to you, Tom. Tomothy. Here's Kenneth. Um, he runs the zoo. We might be talking cats and the other animals also are kind of sentient as you'll see later, but We just have a zoo. All right, things are about to get real crazy I really love how every five minutes It's like you need to save because this is just such a phenomenal game and it's just so mind-blowing and life-changing that like you need to document every single second. This stupid hats like literally it's just in here. For generations. Yeah, that's my dad and for generations we've been like trusted to guard this hat. And it's just in this box in the middle of our living room. There's there's the void. I'm trying to kill it. Wait, there's something in our house. 
There's something buried in the floorboards of her house. I don't want to talk to you, Mom! Dang, I got some dried sardines because they were just buried in her house. I also got- Oh yeah, you could get poisoned! That's crazy. I just love how it's like this big lit up building. We're in the middle of this like stupid farming town. Oh, there we go. Sneak on over. Take a good look at me. I'm in a cage here. Even if I wanted to do something nasty, I couldn't. Now could I? I am also way bigger than you and scary and a criminal and I probably could kill you through the bars, but just don't think about that. Yeah, it's true. Well, looks like you've got some fire in your belly. Not just anyone can pluck up to the courage to talk to an evildoer like me. Ah, well, ahem, I'm often told how brave I am. Ivan, please take me under your wing. I want to be a criminal. I want to kill people. I want to- my parents make me so angry, Ivan, and I just want to go rebel. Please, please take me under your wing. Of course I do. This here is Melody, and her father, Arvin, has the magic hat. It's kind of been passed down in her bloodline through generations that she has to take care of it. And I'm just gonna tell you now, random criminal that's on our island, because I love you and I want you to- I, want it, I love you, I- All this talk of the magic has is just a pack of lies, right? Aw oh, man, I'm angry. No, it's not actually- I'm- I'm the chosen one. I am in charge of it. Screw you, Ivan. What do you think, Melody? Do you think we could borrow the magic hat just for a little while? Peer pressure. Don't do it. Don't do it. Up, oh, up. Oh, she got- she got- she got the peer pressured. Don't do the peer pressure, kids. Why are you placing it in front of him? Like, if you're gonna be annoying and show it to him, at least, like, s stand back. Look, it's ripped. Right there. There, look right there. What a- what a schemer. What a smart guy. It's not that we're just, like, stupid idiot children and one of us has a criminal fetish. Ah, uh, that- wow, wow, I didn't see that coming. It has lightning on it now and the rainbow's gone because he's so scary and edgy. Rainbows are for nice, happy people, but lightning is for scary, edgy people with giant eyebrows. And there he goes, levitating out. No, and now he's gonna destroy our home and our families and kill everyone. If only we just hadn't been stupid children. If only I hadn't been peer pressured by my friend who has a fetish. Ah, no! I'm gonna tell you guys a little backstory about me, but, um, you know that Spongebob episode with the gorilla? That kind of, like, scarred me for life. And ever since then, gorillas and, and, like, any other ape animal that looks too human terrifies me. How are we keeping the lion in the zoo? Like, we're in the same species. Look like, at the bear. Ah, he's so scary. I don't even have to add the shaky screen effect in. It's already shaking. Honestly, is he really, like, I know he did just destroy the village and almost kill all of our friends and family. Same time, like, he also set all the animals free. And should we really be keeping them captive? Active, honestly there I am in prison how could you do something so foolish giving Ivan the magic hat I was peer pressure that isn't all either bridges have been destroyed all across the island now lots of places are completely out of reach Ivan has also riled up the wild animals turning them against us it's not like we were holding them hostage why aren't I in a cage along with Melody because that's what I want because I'm a criminal why why aren't I I should be caged too please Ada I want to be in the cage I'm so sad with my creepy human eyes everyone makes mistakes I know it's led to some truly terrible things happening this time this is so emotional. But isn't that all the reason to have Melody help repair the damage? Everyone makes mistakes, even you. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Look, I'm so happy. Look at that stare. There's no thoughts in her head. We'll handle giving the magic hat back. Definitely not a job for children. Little do you know that I am the chosen one and I'm the main character and I will be getting that hat back. I feel so bad about what's happened. It's my fault, so I'm going into the cage. Melody, help everyone in the village. This is what I've always wanted, Melody. I'm finally a criminal. I thought I could beat this in like a short period of time and I'm still going to try to, but also um, it's been 45 minutes and we're finally getting out of the tutorial. So this is B. He's the Navi of the world. Not many people know this, but the magic hat actually has a mind of its own. Because the magic hat is just so strong, it was magically given a mind of its own. Yeah, that makes sense. To prevent it from being used for evil. 
I made from the good side of the mine. It seems he allowed himself to be caught on purpose in order to get into this island. Because the power of the magic hat was protecting this place, evildoers like him can't normally come here. But Ivan had a plan. He let himself be captured knowing he would be brought here. But then how did he know that I was going to give him the hat, right? He's practically a genius when it comes up to thinking of evil. But, like, how did he plan out that I was gonna- little baby was gonna come bring him the hat? Who knows what end such a monster may turn to the magic hat? I tremble to think blah blah blah. Everything's so scary, and you ruined everyone's life, and we're all gonna die because of you, and now I'm gonna be the annoying thing that follows you around and talks to you and gives you advice. Yeah, friendship! Don't look at me, you got a bed at home, and everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Whoa. Oh, okay, there, there he is. Got the magic encyclopedia, let's go! I don't care, I just want, I just want to go on my cat adventure. Stop talking to me! This is called a Sheikah Stone. Um, we stole it from another game, but don't worry about it. Um, Fashion Lady sadly didn't survive the accident. Rest in peace. God, I hate this camera. This is so stupid. You, like, use the, the D-pad to move the camera back and forth, but you also need to hold down B and, like, moot to, like, steer yourself around with the motion controls. And, like, you can't do both at the same time. This is a stupid game. I learned what cotton is like. Now I gotta go to Lappy Lake. Um, so here's the little, just so everyone knows as we're playing, here's the enemy mood sign. All right, onward to Lappy Lake. And there's just like a, there's just an alligator here. Hopefully I don't get killed. He doesn't see me guys, it's okay. I just want the cotton, but every time I shake the Wii remote, the game's like, no, actually no cotton for you. Yeah, we gotta go to mom and then I'm pretty sure mom's gonna give us like another fetch quest. Cause that is the whole game. The whole game's just fetch quest. I love this game. Yak by drugs. Let's go. I really want a grilled cheese, but I don't really want to go make a grilled cheese right now because, like, you know, I'm cat game. No, he twisted his paw. So now before we can get. We can fix the shop. We have to go back up five feet. Go get medicine. I like how he couldn't just like... He's right there. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> wait, it's going so fast. Tom twisted his legs. So I know that you're literally right next to Tom. And Tom could have like yelled to you that he twisted his legs. But um, Tom needs you to... I needed to go tell you. And now I need to get stuff. I got a watermelon. Wow! I heard that Saul went to Whisker Woods and hasn't come back. Who is Saul? I don't know who Saul is. Also, I forgot to read it, but he said something about, like, Saul's the master of creeping and crawling. And I just really love that that's his title. Can you please, like, take my stuff because I want money so I can buy fashion things? Yeah, I know, he's the master of crouching and crawling. Can I please... Can I please sell you my things? I know how to get to Whisker Woods, you just showed me! I'm not selling stuff to you. This is your own problem, this sucks for you. I'm going, I'm gonna go find the master creeping and crawling, I'm gonna go myself. This is where like, this is the fancier side of town. And there's like a lot of fancy people. There's, there's this guy. Careful there, Melody. Those snakes are in a really foul mood. They look like they're like all the other snakes. Got my paw stuck in an old snake nesting hole and I can't move. I love how he's just screaming, screaming this to us from across the lake. It's like really relaxing music. And again, I'm just picturing, you'll have to use the crouch and crawl. Look at me go, look at me crawl. Oh, hey, we're the same breed of cat. Oh my God, I bet this is secretly my brother. I got a straw hat! 
that be color one? Maybe a little farmer cat, a little Stardew Valley cat. I'm making up lore because I used to do this as a child when I played this game. I used to make up like a bunch of lore to this game. And I'm gonna make up lore that this is actually my brother, but he ran away to go join the cat army and my family was just so disappointed in him because he ran away early and never graduated high school that they just disowned him and they act like I'm their only child, but this is their other child and this is my and this is my brother Saul. I wanna wear my hat. Where's my hat? Oh my god, look at my hat! Like people's homes are destroyed. Animals are trying to kill people. I feel like there's more things I could be doing right now than just like fixing a flower bed, you know? So when I was a child, um we've talked about this, but I am dyslexic. I couldn't really like write. But like every other like neurodivergent obsessed child, I wanted to ma write fan fictions, but I couldn't. So I would just keep them in my head a lot. I have a theory that I couldn't, like the reason that there's so much stuff wrong with me is because I couldn't write out my fan fictions like the other mentally ill children could. Um, but yeah, one of my fan fictions in my head that I, you know, couldn't write out. The fact that I thought that like Victor, like I thought we were in love and we were best friends and like we were in love. And like it was like a childhood romance and I always thought that like at the end he was gonna he was gonna get out of the jail and we were gonna be in love and we were gonna be best friends he never leaves the jail he stays in that jail cell this entire game forever don't look at me you got a girl at home and everybody knows that everybody knows that okay so update I haven't been reading because, like, do we really care? Fashion ladies, like, I really want to, like, make clothes and make everyone happy again. Because, like, uh, the village was almost destroyed and we almost died. And she was like, there was this old fashion designer guy I really liked. And then he died and, like, it was really sad. And he left his patterns of his clothing to his child. And she's like, they became known as the legendary patterns. And now she wants me to try to figure out how to find the patterns. And that's, that's fine, I guess. I just really loved, it's like the legendary clothing patterns. There he is. There he is. It's always nice to know someone who takes pride in her work like Ada. She's my role model. Okay, so we changed, we switched it up, and after the traumatic events, and also the fact that he's stuck in jail, he's now come to the conclusion that he doesn't want to be a robber anymore, and now he wants to be a good guy, but he still feels like he needs to stay in jail, because he just, like... He really likes jail, you know? This is when we start getting into the more annoying ones where I actually have to like run everywhere. So now I gotta go to the beach and talk to scary cat lady and get stuff. Yeah, fun cat game, yeah. At least I have a hat. Up um, now we have to go to Lappy Lake. I like how it also explains to us where everything is every single time we talk to somebody and they're like, you have to go here. By the way, I know you've been to Lappy Lake five times, but just in case you forgot, you have to go to South Pawville and go to the path on the right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot this is like the hipster cat. Oh my gosh. I appreciate the animations. I think they're really good. They most of the time actually look like cats. Um, yeah, so now he's like, can you get this pie from this chick named Lone? And then I'll give you the legendary pattern. Yeah, because that seems like a fair trade. And he doesn't realize that Lone is our mother. And as a child, I actually think I thought he was in love with our mom. And I'm not sure what made me indicate that. I think it was just the fact that I wrote so many fan fictions about this in my head. The Pies of Youth. And now I have to get cherries. Yeah, I love this game. This game is so fun. This game is so fun. Love this game. Where did she say the cherries were? Love this game so much. I'm having so much fun. Mother, where are the cherries? The only time I can do like an on-demand country accent if, is if I'm like, Ellie, my daughter died. My daughter died, it was real tragic. We did that the entire time we watched The Last of Us. 
Um, I actually am not even, we only watched the first half of the first episode. Like, I'm not scared of the zombie apocalypse, but I get really scared of the concept of, like, the world ending and, like, the planes are falling from the sky and there's panic in the street. And it was just too realistic and too well done and too much for me. So then when Ellie did, when not Ellie died, when, when you know, Ellie, my daughter died, when that happened, I, like, actually started sobbing. Where's the pop-up for the cherry? She said to go to, she said to go to Whisker Woods. Yeah, there's a bear up here. I remember, like, that bear trying to kill me multiple times, and I would scream and cry. Fun times. Fun childhood memories. Where are the cherries? Haha. Uh -huh. I love traumatizing animals that aren't me because I look down on them. I think I almost found the cherries. I almost found the cherries. Look at that. That's the face of someone who's finding cherries. It was lavender. Lavender haze! I just need cherries for my mom to give to her person that I thought she was dating but actually just was like raising, which is really weird. Why did I think that? I did it! I did it, I've collected five fruits, I get a rare, oh my god, I got a fur cap, color one. Get it off my desk, get it off your chest. Dang, that looks delicious. I would eat that cherry pie. I just want to stay in that lavender haze. I got memories. <laughs> you just, yeah. The flower? I'm buying the flower. That was all my money. So worth it. Well, I'm glad I spent all my money on this teeny tiny little flower that I could have probably just picked up off the ground, but no, nope, that's not how this game works.